Good morning, everyone. So I'll start with telling you a little bit about Halo. Halo is a supply chain intelligence company which provides its customers uh, easy to use, customizable visual analytics and dashboards for better reporting. So as to save time in reporting and by having all this information beforehand at your fingertips, you can improve your productivity and your bottom line. We have over 450 customers worldwide, uh, spanning from manufacturing to retail to food and beverage sector, with over 10,200 active users now. What makes us different? So we are capable of combining data from multiple sources, and we sit on the different enterprise solutions. We are not like a transaction system, but more like reporting based on those transaction systems. We provide pre-built supply chain templates with capabilities of what-if scenario analysis, providing clean data with our data quality module. We provide reports and dashboards, which are easy to change and configure. We facilitate collaboration with your suppliers, customers, vendors, and it, the application is also mobile, so you have all the information you need at any place you are on your mobile devices as well. It's also important to know what we are not. So we are not an ERP system, a functional or process management system, and a transaction system. But we are a reporting system which sits on top of these enterprise systems. With our supply chain solutions, we bring to you turnkey solutions to manage your supply chain. They are self-service solutions which provide you better visibility with all the metrics that matter to you. And they are completely configurable to your needs, tailored to what you want to see, what you want to share, with whom you want to share. Even before providing those solutions, we can do data cleansing of the data that is connected from, that is brought from different sources, clean that up for you, reduce, remove all data redundancies, and have clean data. Like they say, garbage in is garbage out. So we remove all the garbage before even it is input in the system. About the halo for supplier management today. The today's webinar will focus mostly on the supplier management package, which would help you um, monitor your supplier performance and facilitate better collaboration with all your suppliers, being able to have all the reports in hand monitor them based on cost, quality, risk, delivery. Now, why is it a very difficult problem today? Most companies, they are very dependent on their suppliers, but they fail to do any supply chain management. Supplier management is kind of difficult because the whole network is very fragmented. Data resides in different places, and it's very difficult to integrate all of that in one place. There is not much information sometimes. Even if it's there, it's not credible. Assessing trends and doing some comprehensive statistical analysis is time consuming. Even with all that analysis in hand, it's so difficult to share data with the suppliers, so they don't know how you are measuring their performance or how you're going to monitor them. So lack of collaboration between firm and the suppliers, then even when we have those sharing capabilities, people don't know what to measure. What are the metrics that I should care about? So in all in all, it becomes too complex and difficult. But with our solution, we address all the questions like, how are they performing? Who are your best suppliers? Who should you really care about? Which of your suppliers are your worst offenders? When should you start looking for alternate suppliers? And what information would you need for your next releases, next reviews, next negotiation sessions? With supplier management package, you'd be better prepared to negotiate with your suppliers. So we provide these. We address these concerns by providing solution in an automated manner. There is an automated supply score which helps you manage your global base. There is instant visibility into matrix. With this, you would reduce your overall spend, shipment costs. You would know who are your underperforming suppliers and would have better clarity of goals. Let's go ahead and take a look at the product now.
This is the executive dashboard based on the four pillars of supply chain management, cost, quality, delivery, and risk. Let's say I'm a quality assurance officer and I would like to know, oh, which of my products have the maximum defect rate today? I'll go ahead and click on my maximum defect rate part and I'll see all the other data updating for that product. So I see the finished goods tie downs are the ones which are the, the culprits. And I see it's all coming from US and Taiwan. Uh, let's let's go to let's go and see a detailed report of what these defective parts are. Why is there so much defect there? So like you can see, the selection has been carried over very neatly to the defective parts report. Here you can see what are the purchase order associated. I, I can see what's the defective reason, why were they rejected, and who are the suppliers that provided them. Let's see here. Okay, uh, for this purchase order, there were only two defective products out of 2,500 or so uh, products. This is the purchase order, which was really a culprit purchase order. Now I see when I select that purchase order, it instantly gives me the supplier that provided me with that order, Nielsen Locks. So I need to know who are my alternate suppliers for Nielsen Locks. I go to my procurement report where my buyer is going to know, okay, the finished goods tie downs, I, I get this product from Nielsen Locks, Bricks Industries, and Mercury Fusion. Since all the, prod, all the uh, quant items in the purchase order have been rejected, I cannot accept them because of uh, incorrect description on the packaging. I would rather go ahead and talk to either of Bricks Industries or Mercury Fusion Systems and get going to get maybe a rush shipment, or if I have enough time, I'll ask them to provide me a replacement. This is how you can prevent major supply chain disruptions if you have all this information handy beforehand. You know, you can prevent it before it actually happens and there is no recovery point. Okay, let's go back and see what if I'm a supply chain manager. So for my daily operations, I go to the supplier performance dashboard where I can see different key performance indicators defined completely based on the requirements for the organization, what I need to see, accepted, rejected, early delivery percent, on-time delivery. Now, I want to look at one of my supplier's performance. Let's say East-West Metal Industry. You can see all the KPIs updated for that very supplier, and I see, okay, the late delivery percentage for this supplier has gone up. Oh, let's look into what's happening there. So I'd like to go into more details of, let's say, let's look at who are all the suppliers that are late this month. So I click on the late uh, filter in my quantity received grid, and we see 16 out of 40 suppliers, almost 40% of my suppliers are late. To go down further into details, we'll drill, drill down and see the different buckets into the late filter, the two weeks late, four weeks late, and eight weeks late. Let's say we would want to look at all these suppliers who are more than two weeks or two weeks or more late. And there goes the selection updating again with all the suppliers which are late and gives me a real good idea of where my supplier risks lie and how to go out and mitigate those. Moving on to the supplier scorecard which is the holy grail of all the supplier management. Having ranked all my suppliers in one place to know how they're performing and which ones should I be maintaining a healthy relationship, which ones are my worst offenders, which ones do need to go away and I need to find a replacement for, or how can I be better prepared for the next negotiation set session with my suppliers, this is the place to be where all the suppliers are ranked based on a criteria of delivery, quality, cost, and lead time and payment terms. This is a weighted average scorecard, which is uh, completely based on the priority of attributes that you want to measure your suppliers on. With Halo, it is a completely shareable solution with your suppliers, so they know how they are being measured, and they can improve their performance for the next time. With Halo Rings, there's this is the, the collaboration feature where, you know, this lets your suppliers read the information. Not just the suppliers, everyone in the team can be on the same page by having information in one place. Everybody can communicate via Halo Rings here. They'll receive this notification via email as well. All the information would be here. For example, how is this supplier scorecard created here? For, now, for this scorecard, 
It's been quality, delivery, cost, and financial, giving 30, 30, 30, and 10 percent weightage, respectively. The calculation is done as shown here. This is a completely configurable, customizable um, solution. We can change the weightage to the different parameters that are here. For example, if you are a food and beverage industry, you want time to be of more importance and not cost or finances. Delivery is of utmost importance for you. So that would be given 50, let's, let's say 60% weightage. And so all of those parameters can be configured based on the industry that you belong and what is most important to you. We also have the feature of having scheduled reports or exporting the same report into an Excel or PDF and sharing with, sharing with our suppliers. With scheduled reports, you can have exception-based alerting. For example, I want to know on a daily basis what is my support, does my supply score look like. Or I can also create a list of recipients that I want to share this with let's say my supply chain team, my operations team, and let them know which orders, which suppliers are not on track. So this was a high-level overview of the supplier management package. We can go for on-time delivery report, purchase price variance report to see what was my uh, timely performance versus my goal, by purchase order, by supplier, narrowing down it to actual products, seeing what was my cost last year through the purchase price variance report, am I doing good, why is, why is there a price hike, is the price same, this looks good, there's not too much difference in the price, why is this going up, do I need to change something that I'm doing wrong, do I need to change my suppliers, has there been any major supply chain disruptions, things like that. So with, this, with all this information handy, it is very easy to get a complete grip on your supply chain operations. This is the scorecard that we just saw based on uh, in the tool. So when you get this supplier management package, it comes with the pre-built metrics to get you started, a set of dimensions and measures. Measures are the data values that you would like to be analyzed, summarized, and displayed, like quantity ordered, quantity received, rejected, accepted percentage, anything that you want to see as part of your reporting. Dimensions are the natural categories along which you would like to classify these measures by. Okay, I want to see my amount spent by the supplier, by ship from location. I want to see it by business unit or purchase order. There can be any number of dimensions and any number of measures that you would like to see your reporting to be based on. As part of this package, you get a complete turnkey solution with these metrics and dimension, measures and dimensions built in, ready to use from day one. So the halo benefits with the supplier management package come with increased visibility of performance against goals, documented metrics that matter, having documentation, having the proper documentation about how to use the uh, tool with the user guide, scheduled reporting, some exception-based alerting, having mobile application solutions, being able to access that information anytime from any device, being able to export those reports into PDF or Excel and sharing it with players in a secure fashion, and the solution is 100% hosted with little or no IT maintenance or infrastructure needed. Thank you, everybody, for being here and uh, listening to our Halo for Supplier Management Solutions.